The best vegetarian meal I've had this year is in um, Murano in London's Mayfair. That's Angela Hartnett, who's a uh, prodigy of Gordon Ramsay. That's a Michelin-style restaurant which has the most divine vegetarian food I've had. I'm at my normal body weight of 70 kilos, which I'm hoping to maintain it over the next few weeks. One of my fellow travellers isn't too much into vegetarian cuisine, isn't too much into wine. He prefers meat and beer. So we shall have to work with that. Our dinner last night was magnificent. Capital M, overlooking Tiananmen Square, outdoor dining. We sat down outside, the temperature was beautiful, the ambiance was lovely. Uh, all things that are important when vegging out. And um, the Western menu, and um, we got a uh, bottle of Viognier to start off with, and uh, with our entrees, and then we ordered a bottle of Zinfandel with our mains and then moved on to the old favourite tokay for dessert. Um, all the while the lights were on at the um, on T Tiananmen Square and it was a, just a magnificent place to ha eat out and have dinner. Um, it was well recommended in a couple of sources and um, was on the mushroom scale right up there for me, right up there because right in the one or twos um, Probably a two uh, because the food was all right. I had the default risotto, but it wasn't a mushroom risotto. And uh, had a lovely Mediterranean salad and a nice bit of chocolate tart. Uh, that was good. Um, one of my dining colleagues had the signature dish of the suckling pig, which he enjoyed very nice. Um, can't say it, um, I didn't feel too objectionable about it. Um, and um, we had a uh, lovely meal and the combination of the ambience, the wine uh, and food, which was all right, not magnificent, but it was all right, um, amounted to a beautiful evening, which we thoroughly enjoyed. And it was deliberately booked in anticipation of us being on the train and me um, perhaps possibly struggling. <laughs> That is anti-vegetarianism, if ever I've seen it. I've given the man some meat which is of unknown diagnosis. He's not bothered about it. He's happy to eat it. And in front of me, he dissects out. In fact, it's like a pro-section of vegetarian food. And he's going to throw it out. I'm astonished. You're welcome to eat it. <laughs> I am astonished. It's nasty. Have you tasted it? <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's, and I mean, you, that's nasty, and you're just about it, you're eating some animal of unknown origin, and down it goes. I think I would, I'm not sure I would qualify this as an animal, <laughs> but, what is it, an alien? I'm thinking more along the lines of some beet, bean thing, maybe with a little bit of meat in it. Right. However, it tastes a whole lot better than that nasty <laughs> celery. I can tell you, that celery looks a whole lot better than that bean thing with a bit of meat in it. Look is everything. You need to be deep, you need to feel deep.
deeper about your food than just purely shallow presentation. <laughs> in the false bottom. I have the medical kit, okay? Ah. I have the wire coat hangers and the sunscreen and the toilet paper. I have two packets of Vita Wheat, some noodles, some books to read. Um, I have lollies, fruit lollies. Oh. So that's all that's in that section. I have muesli bars, thousands of them. Wow. Muesli. Oh my god. And I have powdered milk to go with the muesli, the vegan one with the powdered milk. That wow. muesli is really good. It's from Fourth Village. Do you go there? Whereabouts is that? Mossman. Right, okay. It's fantastic muesli. And see, muesli is the sort of thing where you don't need the, as long as you've, you've had a milk covering, you can eat it like a meal then, can't you? And we can put water to make yeah. a bit of well. powdered milk and a bit of cheese. Right. Uh, I think they're the soup ones, and I've labelled them each uh -huh. one they are, because the writing was too hard to read and you find like I am. That's the noodle ones. Right. The tea bags, the cashews. See, I've got lots of cashews. I'm embarrassed at the food that I've brought. I think we better go and have a look at that. That's fantastic, huh? That is just awesome. I think I was... Well, my food packing shows how deluded I was. I don't know what I was going to do. Get food out. Dairy milk bar. <laughs> Twix bar. <laughs> awesome. Um, oh, I think one of my uh, powdered chocolates has burst. Oh no. Disappointing. Oh, there's a dried pot noodle there. Um, I don't mind if it's sprinkled in chocolate, so that's one of them. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hello. This is what I'm going to have for lunch now, on my bread provided by the hotel. That's just awesome.